Uh, Monica, this is all new territory. It's just all new territory. Across the state, superintendents are faced with an unprecedented balancing act. It really is an impossible thing that we have to figure out how to do. They're working to keep students and staff safe while doing what's best for their social and emotional well-being. Humans are social by nature and having those interactions is really, really important to the development of our young kids, our students. In many districts, those interactions won't be face to face. Nashua will be remote until October 5th when it will slowly transition to hybrid with PPE and social distancing. Is there anything that keeps you up at night yes. as we move toward the school year? Yes. When does it end? And the reality is, is that this is not a sprint. The reality is, is that this is a marathon. The Mount Vernon Amherst School District is letting individual students and teachers choose whether to go fully remote or return in person. They can change that selection every four weeks. I found that they really do match up, that the percentages around 70 percent of our students and 70 percent of our teachers want to come to the in-person environment. They're requiring masks, even planning to roll out UV robots in school buildings every night, much like the ones used to disinfect planes. None of it is easy. These are uncharted waters. You've never planned for school like this before. What are some of the biggest challenges? Well, uh, we don't know the future. That's the biggest uh, the biggest challenge is not knowing how this plays out. Their plans may vary, but New Hampshire superintendents are grappling with the same uncertainty in the face of a virus we're still beginning to understand. Some of our public just want black and white. They want the answers. And it's hard to um, say that it's hard to communicate that we don't have all the answers right now. Change is hard, even in the best of circumstances. And you add on that the layer of anxiety um, that is just permeated for all of life, for all of us. People are worried. People are, are they're scared and, and they, they should be. We all should be. But if we're being mindful and we're doing it right and we're putting in the right safety protocols, then I think that we should be able to feel good about getting back to some level of on-site, in-person uh, teaching and learning all with limited budgets and staffing. I do think that's going to be our number one issue to deal with is how do we properly staff in a way that maintains the, the, the safety that we've tried to build in. The proverbial light at the end of the tunnel may not come until there's a vaccine. And the superintendents we spoke with say no plan can satisfy everyone, but they're doing the best they can. No matter where you are, Everybody in your local district is working with the best interest of the students and the staff in mind. We're all in this together, and if we want to make this work, everyone has to do their part. Monica Hernandez, WMUR News 9.